Okay, so your DNA does not determine your destiny. And I can show you a proof in my own life of how I know this is true. So I just did one of those inside tracker DNA testers where you send your DNA through the mail. I know that scares some folks, but I swabbed the inside of my cheek and I sent that through the mail and inside tracker and they're not sponsoring this video. So I'm not not promoting them, but they took a look at different markers on my genes, on my DNA, and they said, okay, here's where you have a natural propensity or tendency toward certain health outcomes if I do nothing different in my life. So we know there's something called the epigenome and epigenetics, which is the concept that something above or beyond our genes control the expression of our genes. Epigenetics, our environment, the cultural medium in which the genes sit right, our cells, so stress, cortisol, those different hormones. So when I took this assessment, I was actually really surprised at some of the results. And what I saw, so when you take it, you'll kind of get different, like a different 34 different results. And I saw along my metabolism, some interesting results. And one of them was that I have a high propensity an elevated risk to gain weight. An elevated risk if I eat foods that are high in saturated fat, I have an elevated risk for higher cholesterol, not the good kind. So my cholesterol is really good and I'm not overweight, but that is simply because of my diet, my exercise and my lifestyle. So I exercise every morning. I follow an intermittent fasting regime. I love that. I'm not recommending that. Check with your doctor and I'm careful about what I put in my body, even though I love chocolate. So I definitely budget that in. But I share this because I always knew growing up and throughout my life that if I ate too much of the wrong types of food, saturated fat, my blood work would be off and I would gain weight. And I saw this happen at several stress points of my life. So my DNA, my genes don't determine the results I see. And it's also so easy for us to take a look at results on the outside and make assumptions, right? Oh, that just comes naturally for that person or they're just really gifted at doing that, but I'm not. This is a great example of that not being true. The same is true in our leadership and how we show up and how we communicate. So think about those personality assessments, those communication assessments that you may have taken that show that you may have a natural propensity, let's say, to be extroverted or to be more of a feeler or to be more judgy or more perceptive or, you know, you're more of a driver, you're more intense. It isn't to say that there isn't some innate push toward that, especially if we've been repeating patterns throughout our lives. Our personalities are shaped by our experiences. There's a great book by Dr. Benjamin Hardy, Personality is Impermanent, he talks about it. It does tell us that we can change the way that's expressed by changing how we show up and changing our environment and making an intentional decision to do something different. So it is a decision every day to get up and exercise, to watch my diet, to monitor when I eat and what I eat, and to make sure I'm living my best life. That's a decision, it's a choice, it's an active participation I do every day. Just like with my personality. If I know I show up to a meeting and I can be too intense, I can be too much of a promoter, I can be too much you know, energy at times, and I'm definitely too much energy at times, I can adjust how I show up to better land my communication. Your DNA doesn't determine your destiny any more than certain traits determine your success or your results in life. So think about that as you're going into this week and don't make an excuse for yourself because you think, oh, I'm just this certain way or I can't change. We have incredible control over our lives, our destiny, and our future.